Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for January 27th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. In our top news story, Novartis announced that former Hospira CEO Michael Ball has been selected to head its Alcon Eye Care division, replacing outgoing chief executive Jeff George. The Swiss drug maker also said that fourth quarter net income declined by 5% year over year to $2.7 billion, missing analyst forecasts of nearly $3 billion. Sales in the quarter fell by 4% versus the year-ago period to $12.5 billion, compared with analyst expectations of $13 billion. Revenue from Novartis Pharmaceuticals division was unchanged at $7.9 billion, while sales at the drug maker's Sandoz unit totaled $2.3 billion, down 8% versus the fourth quarter of 2014. In other news, Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healy has informed Gilead Sciences that the prices for its hepatitis C therapies, Sovaldi and Harvoni, could violate state law. Healy remarked, I write to encourage you to reconsider Gilead's pricing structure for Sovaldi and Harvoni so that we may actually see this infectious disease eradicated in the United States in our lifetime. In addition, Biogen disclosed that its fourth quarter revenue jumped 7.5% to $2.8 billion, beating analyst estimates of $2.7 billion as sales of Tecfidera rose to $993 million, up from $916 million in the year-ago quarter. Net quarterly income for the drug maker reached $831.6 million, down from $883.5 million in the year-ago period. For the full year, Biogen recorded $10.8 billion in revenue, up 11% versus the prior year. Net income for the company totaled $3.6 billion, compared with $2.9 billion in 2014. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.